Hey guys, I wanted to get this off my chest and try to do some criticism to CJ92. And I don't really care if people know where I live now. I just want to really get this off my chest because this has been eating away for a while. And I hope that this radio station that's owned by Bell Media actually checks this out and actually might use some of the things I'm talking about to try to make their station better. So we're going to start off saying that there was a personality that was hosting, you know, the radio station for a while. And he recently quit a couple of months ago, I think it was. But besides that and him working there for many, many years, there's something I have noticed with this radio station compared to the others. There's a lot of bands that they play a lot more than any others i hardly hear any new music from them that that when i actually checked it out and the thing that i'm gonna also before i get into naming some of the bands is that i stopped listening to the radio station about five maybe ten years ago because it's the same shit over and over and over you can listen to one song from a certain band and you might hear it like two, three hours later anyway. So, or a different song from the same band. So it doesn't really matter. And the main reason why I stopped listening to them because of that main reason. They never gave any opportunity for the many bands that are out there to rise or shine because they don't give the opportunity to. And yes, I understand that they're in a business to make money. Yes, so by doing that, they can actually lose ads and stuff like that because a lot of people do not like the music that's being played. Sure, or the record companies do pay them to play the, those songs. I get that. So that is another reason why I stopped listening to them, and the only reason why I'm bringing this up is because of the job that I had since the, like for five years, right? This station and a couple other radio stations, people that I work with switch it between those. And I can tell you right now that CJ is just crappy. It's crappy to me. I would rather go online and listen to whatever band, on, even on Spotify, to be honest with you. I would rather have Spotify than ever, ever listen to CJ. So... I'm going to tell you the bands. So, I'm going to name some, not all of them. One of them is Green Day. They do play a lot of different Green Day songs. The Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, they also play Nirvana. And, and I mean a lot on Nirvana. And I mean a lot. Come as you are. It smells like Teen Spirit those songs like it literally plays like those two the most there's the offspring and for a rock station to play as much as they do of metallica it's fucking annoying and it's not that they don't play everything of metallica they only play since i've ever tuned in anything from the black album up you don't hear one. You don't hear Master of Puppets. You don't hear Ride the Lightning. You don't fight. You don't hear Fire, Fight Fire with Fire. You don't hear any of those. You don't hear nothing. And what really grinds my gears too is, what was it? Uh, Linkin Park's first album came out when? Eighteen years ago of this recording. I swear to God, they have never played one Linkin Park song the, out of all the years that I have ever checked fucking CJ by listening to them. And only, only this year after Chester Bennington died, I've heard Linkin Park. I shit you not. So all the, the other four years that I've been working at my job and they have been having a, a radio there 
to check out a different radio station every so often. Not once I've ever heard anything from Lincoln Park. And now that that Chester's dead, they play Lincoln Park now. And if they if somebody can prove me wrong, if somebody can legitimately prove me wrong, showing a date years ago, back in the early 2000s, that CJ actually really played anything from Lincoln Park, I'll take that back then. But it's like I said, every time I tuned in, they never played that. And how many times can you really hear Nirvana? How many times can you really hear like Metallica? And they're even they're they're a metal band. They're not a rock band. This this station's supposed to be rock or their slogan is everything that rocks. Okay. So Metallica rocks. What about Judas Priest? What about Iron Maiden? What about Motorhead? What about Pantera? What about you know, I can keep naming fucking bands. I could make a whole video explaining to these people how many bands there is and how many underground bands there are that these guys will never play. And it's like I said, it's for the money. I guarantee it's for the money. Nothing else. Like, not even Anthrax. I have never heard Anthrax. Slayer any nothing nothing like i can understand a little bit of slayer yes but nothing there's like there's a band called camelot you could play <sighs> just and okay and don't hold this against me but i do remember hearing that there was a law about radio and all this stupid garbage about the fact that about 30% of what you play it has to be Canadian. Well, there's a death metal band called Cataclysm, but they'll never be on that. Or Three Inches of Blood. Like, I this is why I don't like CJ. I don't know if it's them or their parent company that's controlling all the fucking strings and shit, but it's so annoying. How are you supposed to get more people interested in bands when... You can't. And I remember like back in the day when Evan Essence was like on there with that song Bring Me to Life. The first time it ever aired, it was edited. It was completely edited. Disturbed. I actually, I shit you not guys, I heard the first album of Disturbed on there. And I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, you guys are fucking late to that. You are super late to that. You're playing the new album of Disturb with the cover song, but yet you took how long to play the sick Down with the Sickness or anything from that album? Wow, like, are you guys like, is there like a protocol that you guys need to go through and you need to listen to music now? And, or is there like something controlling the scenes in the background? Like, I don't understand how guy, how you guys are like just still able to just be around there's tons of bands in the 80s that you guys don't even play there's tons of bands in the 90s that you play you don't even play mortarhead you don't even play mortarhead like come the fuck on guys seriously like i'm so disappointed with this radio station like there is nothing I, I tell you this right now. If I ever got a job to do anything related to that type of crap, I would do so much better. I would try to do so much fucking better. And I wouldn't care what people thought. If people want to share their music, I wouldn't mind playing it. <sighs> if you're going to play anything to do with fucking metal don't just be fucking cherry picking metallica seriously i know this is your like go-to band for metal there there's like no other bands i swear to fucking god that you guys play and if you're gonna play metallica fucking play the older shit too don't just cherry pick cherry pick the fucking goddamn black album above 
I swear to God. And it's the same thing with fucking Nirvana. You can only hear Smells Like Teen Spirit so many fucking times before it gets boring. I'm dead serious when I say that. 